Let's talk about invalid argument forms that use the OR. Let's look at this example again. Either you're with me or you're against me. You're not with me, so you must be against me. This is valid because the disjunction states that both of these disjuncts can't be false. At least one of them must be true. So if you can eliminate one, then the remainder has to be true. But what if I say something like this? College teachers have to have either a master's degree or a PhD. Professor Smith has a master's degree, therefore he doesn't have a PhD degree. Is this a valid argument? It doesn't seem so. Why can't it be the case that Professor Smith has both a master's and a PhD? Generally, this is the case. If you have a PhD, then you also have a master's degree, since having a master's degree is usually a prerequisite for attaining the PhD. But if so, then this inference is clearly invalid. The general form of this invalid inference looks like this. In this form, you're stating that one of the disjuncts is true, and on the basis of this, inferring that the remaining disjunct must be false. In general, this is not a valid inference when it's logically possible for the two disjuncts to be true at the same time. In other words, it's invalid when the OR is an inclusive OR. An inclusive OR is one that asserts that A is true or B is true or both may be true. The only case that it rules out is the case where both are false. Now, as you might expect, the case is different if the OR is exclusive. Here's a clear example of an exclusive OR. The coin landed heads or tails. The coin landed heads, therefore the coin did not land tails. Here you're doing the same thing. You're affirming one of the disjuncts and inferring that the remaining disjunct must be false. But in this case, the inference is valid since the OR is an exclusive OR. It excludes the case where both of the disjuncts can be true. So this argument form is valid when the OR is an exclusive OR. Let's put the OR forms side by side. The version on the left is a standard valid form where you deny one of the disjuncts and infer the truth of the remaining disjunct. This is valid whether the OR is inclusive or exclusive. The version on the right is where you affirm one of the disjuncts and infer that the remaining disjunct must be false. This is invalid when the OR is inclusive. That's an easy way of remembering it. But it's valid when the OR is exclusive.